What's up guys, so today's video is looking at the full moon, or once again, um, and this year it just happens to line up very nicely with uh, something else that's happening on this day. Uh, so we are just over an hour out from it reaching 100%, um, the, the moon that is. Um, and some of its names are the Pink Moon, the Hair Moon, the Egg Moon, and the Paschal Moon. Um, now the other thing happening today is International Day of Pink, and we'll get into that at the end of the video, and it is why I am wearing this shirt. Um, Alright, so the name Pink Moon comes from one of the first spring flowers, um, which is known as phlox, um, as they cover the ground like a pink blanket. These brightly coloured flowers are native to North America, which is obviously being in the Northern Hemisphere, where all of these names, uh, moons got their names from. Um, and they often bloom around the time of April's full moon. Um, as I said before, other names of this moon uh, include the hair moon, uh, and the Anglo-Saxon name is the egg moon. Um, hair moon can also be used for the May full moon, and I'll get into why that is in just a second. Um, so, mentioned that one of its names was Paschal Moon, uh, and so the first full moon in April is known as the Paschal Moon as well. Uh, in the ecclesiastical or Christian calendar, because it's used to calculate the date for Easter, the first Sunday after the Paschal Moon is Easter Sunday, and hence this coming weekend is Easter. The ancient hair moon and egg moon names are also referenced uh, as potential reasons for the emergence of the modern Easter Bunny laying Easter eggs. It also absolutely has nothing to do with the fact that a hair and an egg were the goddess or star as symbols. That, that obviously, no, can't be it. Um, so now we'll move on to, uh, since Explaining the full moons is kind of an easy job. We'll move on to uh, the International Day of Pink. Um, so I will also have this linked below um, if you want to check it out. Um, so it has here April 8th is the uh, International Day of Pink. Uh, actually, does it have? Here. No, it doesn't. Okay. Thought maybe it might have had uh, a little bit of a backstory for it, but it's just gonna throw us straight in the deep end here. Uh, so it says discrimination takes many shapes, whether it's based on race, age, uh, ability, gender, or sexuality. Um, wow. We're just we're just adding more and more to this, aren't we? The two S L G B T Q I A plus community. mouthful now, uh, is no stranger to the bullying and violence that stems from hateful beliefs. All progress has been made towards removing these social barriers from society, discrimination still persists. So every year, on the second Wednesday of April, we urge people around the world to put on a pink shirt and stand in solidarity um, to continue fighting for equality and acceptance. Uh, whether it's in Canada or beyond, Canada being where it started, Again, I thought there was going to be some backstory at the top of the page, but there's not. Um, so whether it's in Canada or beyond, we need to stand up against hateful beliefs to keep the clock from turning backwards on our efforts uh, towards establishing equality. Uh, it's time now to educate the future generation, not to repeat history, demand more of our politicians and policymakers, and participate in creating real change through real effort. Um, 
International Day of Pink has one purpose, to create a more inclusive and um, diverse world. We do this by encouraging young people to challenge social norms, ask more of their educators, and stand up against bullying um, towards their peers. Over the years, we've worked with countless educators, politicians, and organisations around Canada to spread this message and create young activists for this mission. We hope to continue this work and reach more communities with every passing year. We can only do this with your support and involvement, so please consider sharing our work, wearing our merch, donating to our cause, and joining our movement in any way you can. Now, if I can just go back to just Google, see how I'm doing. Alright. So, that's right, I got the website by going onto the Wikipedia page, obviously. Um, the International Day of Pink is an international anti-bullying event held annually during the second week of April. The event started when students David Shepard and Travis Price saw another student who was wearing a pink shirt being bullied in their uh, high school in Nova Scotia, Canada, and decided to show support for the student by getting everyone at their school to wear pink the following day. Um, Now, I have also gone online uh, just searching um, like Pink Shirt Day or International Pink Day and those sorts of things, and I found a whole handful of other dates as well. Um, but the Wikipedia page says that it's in April, the website it links to says uh, April, so um, really just sort of leave that up for you guys to discover for yourself if you want to um, but yeah I think it's really nice that the um, the pink supermoon uh, happens to be reaching 100% on International Pink Day that's kind of cool um, but yeah that's all I've got for today uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell if you want to see more videos from me and be notified when I upload new ones, uh, again, all the links in the description down below. And until next time, guys, keep your head screwed on.